Now you should stand behind the lines, because this match starts in three, two, one, go! Right away, looks like the Bobcats are going to throw a cone up high. Their partners, the Gale Hawks, doing the same. Man, Bobcats coming down real hard off that charge station, but man, can they get it engaged afterwards with three seconds left. I spoke too soon. They will stay docked as the autonomous period ends. On the other side of the field, Venus Warriors being engaged, getting those full 12 points. They're going to head over to the human player station and look for their first cone. Grabbing that, their partners, Eidos Dios, going to do the same. The Bobcats have come through, and they have a cone up high in that red grid. And they're going to rush on back while their partners, the Gale Hawks, score yet another in that cooperation grid. The other side of the field looks like Eidos Dios are trying to settle for a mid cone, but will have to go for a hybrid. They're going to rush back across the field with Athena's Warriors looking for yet another game piece. Galvanized Guardians going for a cube now as well. Three blue bots in the loading zone means the midfield is cleared as the Galvanized Guardians score a fifth game piece down low. One more and they'll have yet another link secured. And they're going to grab one from right inside their community. Why go far from home when the game pieces are near? Meanwhile, on the other side, the Red Alliance has completed their full top row. That's three high links, five points for each of those. And they're not slowing down just until that. But they're going to push themselves right back up as the Bobcats look for another mid-cone. Was there a delay? Yes, but that cone was going there no matter what. And they're going to complete the link to boot. Meanwhile, for blue, Galvanized Guardians have finished filling up that bottom row and are now looking to contribute to those mid-nodes. One more cube can go up in those mid-nodes, and they're going to bring it with 30 seconds left. Eidos Dios, no game piece in their hand, but they're going to line up for this balance. Meanwhile, the Red Alliance doing the same. They have the Iron Lions ready to go. Bobcats looking for yet another score, and that is a full mid-row for Red as they line up and start to engage with six seconds left. That's it. With three seconds to go, no one moves, and the match comes to a close. All right, let's see the results of that match. It looks like it is a Red Alliance win. 153 to 111 in favor of the Red Alliance there. Alliance 6 will drop down to the lower bracket, while Alliance 2 will move on to the winner's bracket final.